What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we have something important to cover when it comes to Splatoon news. Now this guy has been on a goddamn roll when it comes to hacking this game. This dude NW Player 12345, shout outs to this man. He's been hacking the game to the bones and beyond yo. And, and you know I know it's uh, Guys, let's just, let's just be real with each other here. I know that some of you think that I over-exaggerate things. I know some of you feel as if I fake a lot of my exaggerations on these things. But in all honesty, stuff like this is pretty goddamn amazing. It's, it, it, it's awe-inspiring to see how much goddamn hacking prowess this guy has. Considering that the Wii U is relatively difficult to crack into in terms of like accessing kernel information and whatnot, this dude is actually on top of his game. So um, if you don't know, by the title, this guy somehow managed to hack a way to play as the Octolings, or the Octorings? Um, Octoling, I think, yeah, it's Octoling. This dude somehow managed to be able to hack a way to play as the Octoling in Splatoon. So let's take a look at this right now. Crazy shit, dude, and not on, and that's not the only thing either. Like somehow he saw, or well, I guess not somehow, I guess somebody informed him that I did a video covering him with the whole white ink thing, and not me covering him with my white ink, rather him hacking Splatoon to have the white and black ink and the different color variations. And he, I guess he was like, you know what, let me show some other colors here. I did mention that I wanted to see how blood red looks, so we'll take a look at exactly how those colors come out in Splatoon as well. But um, for now, we're going to check out this Octoling thing because it's pretty goddamn insane that he managed to hack the game to be able to do so. I don't think it's anything like official. Of course not. Like, I don't think it's anything that's going to come out as DLC. I highly doubt that. But somehow he was able to hack the model onto your playable character. So let's see what's going on. First time reaction to seeing this myself. We're not probably going to watch the whole video, but this will be linked in the description so you can check it out for yourself. For now, let's get into it. Not much fun. Okay then. And him hacking it makes it work for himself. But it doesn't work for any other characters. Oh wait, it does. Wait a minute, everyone's an Octoling. Wait a minute, whoa. What the fuck? It looks like the males are not Octolings, but the female are. What the hell, dude? Yeah, I don't see a single female inkling. It's just all octolings in terms of the females. So the males are unaffected here. I guess it's a hack that works on only one gender. So um, let's see his description really quick because he talked about it a little bit more. The eyes have a black film because apparently Nintendo was lazy and never put in textures for blinking. Also, oh my gosh, I did a thing and it was easier than I thought it was going to be. I remember seeing in one of his... Um, I remember seeing in the White Ink video that somebody was talking to him in the comments and they were saying, is it possible to be able to play as a Noctling? And he was telling them initially that it wasn't going to be possible or maybe that it was just going to be really difficult. So the fact that he managed to pull it off here for this video, gotta give him his props, man. Even he thought it wasn't going to be able to be done. So Nintendo, the reason why the eyes are black is because Nintendo couldn't program the Octolings to blink. And plus, the Octolings, don't they wear those eye goggles all the time? With those eye goggles on, maybe they didn't program them to have working eyes either, so... Let's see, um, I'm gonna make the quality go up by 1080p. It's pretty cool, you know, like, I may be out of the loop here, I never played single player mode, so I've never really seen the Octolings in action myself. Cause, you know, single player mode, eh, I don't really care for it too much, but seeing the Octolings in action in this way is really cool. Um, I never saw how the Octolings look when they go into octopus form. Do they even have an octopus form? Um, this is, these are all questions that can be answered simply by Google searching or just looking this up online. But I never played single player. So I mean, I'm going to sound like an idiot to most of you guys. But um, the Octolings are playable here with this mod hack. I mean, um, with this um, texture hack. Good God. Your hair is pretty fabulous, I gotta say. But I don't like how it doesn't move when they shoot. Like the the squid, um, the squidlings. You know the fact that their hair moves whenever they shoot, especially the female. Like the hair like jumps up. And plus, don't the female um squidlings, or not just the females, the males as well. Even though they are squid in hair color, maybe like one type, it also kind of like has variation towards the end of the tentacles. So they could have blue, but like you see purple here. But you don't see that when she goes into um, humanoid form. Still very interesting, man. That's. Very, very cool, dude. 
And one thing that's interesting as well is the fact that the Octolings automatically have those hand um, those hand leather gloves on by default. So, yeah, man, really cool. Of course, with the big hair, some of their headgear doesn't work well with it. Understandable. But they don't have eyes in the slightest? Or maybe... Because that one did just have eyes, right? Did that one just have eyes? Yeah, I haven't seen a single Octoling with, the eye, with, with actual working eyes. He said it's because Nintendo didn't make them able to blink, but... That makes it so that even if their eyes are open and they're not actually doing the blinking animation, it still, it still doesn't um, show. Pretty cool, actually. We're going to fast forward through a little bit of this because we kind of get the point here. What the hell is that? I think it's a boss. Yeah, definitely a boss. So can the can the aqualings also turn into um, a squid or an octopus form? Okay, here we go. So now we can see their eyes, or rather, see the eyes with the model. Looks really, really good. The hair doesn't move at all, though. So Nintendo, when they made the aqualings, or um, they didn't really think too much in terms of giving their own models as much flexibility and as much um, realistic factors as the squidlings. And I guess with no reason, because the aqualings wouldn't really be looked at that much in detail unless you're doing single player mode. But still, Nintendo, you could have at least given their hair a little bit more life, more movement, or whatever. But it still looks good. I really like it. It would be cool if there was an option to actually play as them. And who knows, maybe they would have slightly different attributes than the Squidlings do. But that's just a thought. I don't know how well it would work in practice. But it would be interesting to have two playable forms of um, species in this game. With different attributes and all that shit. It would be really cool. So now we're going to look at this other video where it showcased red ink, along with a couple... Oh, he just subscribed to me, actually. He just subscribed to me, um, 19 minutes ago. NW Player 12345 shout outs to you, my dude. Thank you. I subscribe to him as well, because I damn sure don't want to miss out on whatever the fuck this dude does next, because clearly he's on a rampage here, and he's trying to get Splatoon stripped down ASAP, so really cool stuff. He actually made this video with the new ink colors with me in mind, as I said earlier in this video. So I'm um, pretty cool. By popular demand, hi Etika. Oh, what's up, my dude? Uh, what's going on, baby? Oh um, yeah, I always feel so warm and fuzzy inside when someone makes a video in honor of me, or rather not in honor of me, but just you know as a way for me to review it or to get my attention. Really cool. So now let's look at this. Um, in this video, in the description, he actually has um different um, variations indicated by the um, timestamps. So 20 seconds for acid green and hot pink. I saw how this one looked, and I mean, it looks pretty normal. The acid green one, it definitely isn't the color that we have normally. I mean, it just looks really standout-ish, but you know, I mean, it's not too different from the um, green that we have now, like the really light green. And the acid, and, and, the, and the hot pink doesn't really look too off from what we've seen. But it's the next color that's really cool. Blood red versus aqua blue. The aqua blue isn't really too notable, but the blood red. The blood red is where it really comes together, man. Take a look at this shit. Like, it looks really cool. Like, I mean, I can, I can obviously understand why Splatoon didn't incorporate red ink. Like, especially, you know, blood red to this degree. It looks kind of crazy, man. But it doesn't really give me the indication of blood, per se. It looks way more like ketchup, as somebody mentioned in the comments of this video. Somebody said so in the comments. Well, the black ink looks nice. I think, oh, well, he was talking about the black ink. Um, being honest, so this is the part of the video that I stopped at when I saw the red ink. It looked a lot like blood in some instances, especially when it drips. It looked a lot like blood. When it hit the trees, definitely looked like blood. But um, for the most part, definitely has a ketchup ambience to it, you know? Definitely more ketchup based. But I would love to see this color in action, man. I mean, it looks good, especially when you have the inkling with the hair and the darker ends. It looks really cool. But now, we're going to go to this part of the video where I didn't see yet. We're going to see how the cookies and cream looks. White ink versus black ink. In the previous video, it was really tough to see the black ink in action because the background was like space. So, you know, with the dark background, you know, with the stars and whatnot, and with the black space, you really couldn't tell 
if the black ink was there or not because the ground is obviously dark colored. And as this comment said in the video, while the black ink does look nice, I can see why they didn't want to use it. It's really hard to see sometimes, and maybe because they don't want people saying it looks like an oil spill. I can understand the first reason, definitely. It was hard to see the black ink in that first video this dude did. So let's see how it looks in this one. Oh my gosh, it is black, yo. It is black, my dude. Damn. So this time he's playing as the black ink. And yeah, it's hard to see. It's extremely hard to see. In fact, the black ink is... It's in some lighting situations, the black ink is so difficult to see that I can see it being somewhat of an unfair advantage just to have this color. Because... Maybe some people wouldn't be able to see or be able to tell right away that they're walking in black ink. I can understand entirely why they did that. And it doesn't look, it doesn't, the black ink is cool looking. I, think, I find it really cool looking, but it doesn't look right. Something seems off about it, creepily off about it. I like it. I still like it. The white ink was one thing, but the black ink, especially when you turn into a squid, and you're like going through it like a squid. Like, whoa, man. This dude's soiling everything. You know, I figured out what made this video tough for me to watch. The fact that it's a 60 frames per second game, but it's recorded right now at 30 frames. So it's like hard for my eyes to keep up with it, but I mean... Yeah, man, wait, so let's see how the squidling... How the squid form looked with black. Damn, man, that is black, man. That, that, that looks like fucking... That like some black... Oh my god. Oh my god. That is crazy, dude. These boss fights are pretty damn intense, though. Like I said, I never played Splatoon single player mode, so this is my first time seeing a lot of this stuff, but um, it really looks really cool. Yeah, the black ink, it also has reflective um, properties as well, too. So the black ink is shiny. This is interesting because with the other ink colors, we never really saw one that was as shiny as the black ink. Some of them definitely do give off reflection, but the black ink seems like it's extremely reflective to the point where it's kind of difficult to tell that it's there in the first place. Like when he sprays it here, a lot of that ambience for first glance purposes doesn't really look like it's covered by ink until you look really close. Look at that. It's so difficult to be able to tell that there's black ink there. Interesting color. I love the concept of being able to change the color to whatever you want. Shout outs once again to my dude, one, two, three, four, five, man. This will be in the description so you guys can check out the full video and see every kind of lighting situation and every kind of ambience with this new ink color and the other video as well too where you can see the octolings in action. To be honest, man, I am extremely curious to see what this dude does next. Apparently he hacked the game to be able to find textures of guns and to be able to actually use them as well. It's crazy. This dude is on a roll here and I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated if he does anything crazy next. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.